Hi, CCC family. It's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet, and today we're going to learn how to make some really cute little baby jellyfish, okay? So this is a beginner project. Um, there's not a lot of sewing required, and there's absolutely no stuffing, so that makes this really great. So I hope you've had a wonderful holiday season and are continuing to do so. I want to ask you to please hit that notify me bell below so that you can get notified of my future videos. And please like and share. Sharing helps so much and I appreciate it. Okay, so let's get into the materials. Okay, so for your materials today, you're going to need a four millimeter size hook or a size G. Okay, you're going to need a pair of scissors. You're going to need a darning needle. Looks like that. And then you're going to need some doll eyes. Now, I will put in the description bo box below where you can get these. I got them off Amazon for a really good deal. Um, but you can also crochet some eyes if you'd rather do that. Also, you might need a stitch marker as well. Okay, so let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is make a magic circle. I always like to say in all my videos, if you're brand new to crochet, you don't know how to use your hook, you don't know how to hold the yarn, then there is a video below. It's a beginner crochet video of mine, and it'll show you how to do all of those things, and it'll show you a lot of the stitches as well if you're not familiar. So that'll be in the description box below, as well as how to make a magic circle. But we're gonna make a magic circle, and we're going to put six single crochets in the middle of the magic circle. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then I'm going to pull my loop shut there. And we are going to be working in the round, okay? So I'm gonna go into this first stitch. Working in the round means that you're not gonna be closing to, with a slip stitch and then continuing on. You're just gonna be going into your very next stitch and working around, okay? So I'm gonna go into this very first stitch here, right here, and I'm going to put two single crochets, one and two. And I'm gonna do that all the way around for a count of 12. So I put two in here, I'm gonna put two in the next, and two in the next, and two in the next, till I get 12. So one, two, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10, and 11, and 12. Now this is right where you might need a stitch marker. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I just use a piece of yarn as a stitch marker, but you can use whatever you want. If you have those little plastic things that I always use, you can use those as well. But I'm just gonna cut off a piece of yarn and I'm going to place it into this last stitch that I did, the very last one. I'm gonna place that in there, put my hook back on, and pull down, okay? Now I'm gonna go into my next stitch and I'm gonna put one single crochet, and then I'm gonna go into my next and put two single crochets, And I'm gonna go into my next and put one single crochet. And into my next, I'm gonna put two single crochets. And I'm gonna keep doing that sequence all the way around until I get 18, okay? So in our last stitch, we should be putting two single crochets, which is also called an increase. So sometimes I like to put in these little things in my videos 
I've seen that some people like them, but basically when you're reading a pattern, you'll see INC, or you're gonna hear people say, in the next stitch, put an increase. So basically all you're doing in the next stitch is you're putting two single crochets. And so that's my increase, okay? And so then I'm gonna put my stitch marker right back in this last stitch. And I'm going to make sure that I have 18 now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. If for some reason you don't have 18 and you need to add another stitch because you messed up, don't undo it. Just right here where we just did this last stitch, add another one. Or if you need to, take away one, okay? Just as long as you have 18. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do a round of single crochets all the way around. So that's one single crochet in each stitch. And there still should be 18. So we're just doing single crochets all the way around. And in the last stitch, we're gonna pull out our stitch marker, put our last single crochet, and then our put our stitch marker back. Now we're going to flip this going this way. So we're flipping it out. We wanna make sure that this is on the good side that we're working on right here is on the outside. So we're gonna turn it up and we're going to do two more rounds of single crochet. Okay, so we're just gonna go around and do single crochets for the next two rounds. Okay, so we finished our rounds of single crochet. So let's just recap real quick and go over what we've done, okay? So we've done our magic circle and we did six single crochets. Then in our next round, we did two single crochets around for a count of 12. Then in our next round, we did one single crochet in one stitch and two single crochets in the next and repeating that all the way around for a stitch count of 18. And then we did three rounds of single crochet, okay? So we've got that all done. And so now what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and place our eyes on now before we go any further. So I'm just gonna make sure this middle portion here, this little strand where we did our magic circle is really tight. And I'm just gonna go ahead and place that on the inside right here, okay? Then I'm going to take the doll eyes that I showed you is I'm gonna put these right here and I'm gonna use my darning needle to show you exactly where I'm gonna put them. But I'm gonna put them right in these spaces right here. So you see these spaces right here. Okay, so in these spaces right here is where we're going to put our doll eyes. So I'm just gonna pick a place. It doesn't matter exactly where you put it, but I'm just gonna put it right there. Okay, so I'm gonna go over four spaces, so one, two, three, and in this fourth space is where I'm going to put my other doll eye, okay? And then I'm going to put the fasteners on the back to hold them in place, just like this. I saw a lady in a video the other day go this way with them, where you go down like this, so I'm not sure if I've been doing it wrong or if that's the way to do it, but I take the small end and place it on and it works fine. So whichever way you're comfortable, I guess, is fine, but I'm sure someone will let me know in the comments. So I just do that, it keeps them really tight and on, just like that, okay? So we've still got our stitch marker in place and we've still got our loop here. So I'm gonna pull that back on and now we're going to do some decreases, okay? And we're, a decrease is basically when you're crocheting two stitches together. So again, you'll see that in patterns and you'll see that in videos where people say we're gonna decrease or in a lot of patterns it'll say DEC or DC, okay? So we're gonna go into our next stitch and we're going to go in the back loop only 
And again, you'll see that in a lot of things and it'll say BLO. So we're going into the back loop only and we're going to pull up our yarn just like this. You have a loop. Then we're gonna go into our next stitch, back loop only, pull up our yarn. And then we have three loops on our hook. Go through all three loops. And again, go through the back loop only of the next stitch, pull up your yarn. Go through the back loop of your next stitch, pull up your yarn and go through all three loops. Now you should need nine of these. So we've done two. So there's three. And of course you have your stitch marker as well. So that will show you if you don't wanna count. There's four. Five. six, seven, eight, And then in the ninth one is okay so now we have completed all of our decreases around and now we're going to go into our next available stitch and this is where we're going to close off so we're going to pull our yarn through we're going to go through for a slip stitch and this is just the way i close off you could go ahead and pull through then but i like to cut off make sure you leave enough room because we are going to have to sew a tiny bit okay and then we're going to pull through okay so we will be using this one piece to sew a little bit here after a while. So now let's move on to how to make the little tentacles that hang down of the jellyfish. And this is really simple. So we're gonna take the same yarn that we had um, used for the, the top of the head. And then we have, we have this yellow color I'm gonna use to make some more of those, okay? So I'm gonna mix them up. So I'm gonna use this yarn I used and I'm going to make a slip knot and I'm going to chain 10 and I'm going to chain loosely. I, I These are gonna curl a little bit and you want them to because that's how jellyfish, um, you know, tentacles kind of do, they kind of go everywhere. So if they curl a little bit, that's fine, but you don't want them to curl too much. And so that's why I like to keep it really loose. So I'm chaining 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, okay? Then I'm going to cut off Leave a good bit at the beginning and a good bit at the end because we're going to be using all of these. And then you're just simply going to pull through just like this, tighten it up just a little bit, and then you're going to put a knot here at the end, okay? So we're going to knot the end. And I'm going to try to make sure that this knot stays really close to the bottom, as close as I can get it to the end here, okay? Because we wanna make sure it doesn't come undone. Okay, so I've got that pretty close and I've tightened it. And then I'm going to cut just a little bit down. So I'm not gonna cut right at the knot. I'm gonna go down just a little bit and cut right there. And that also is gonna make sure that that doesn't come undone, okay? So we have one of those done. You're gonna repeat that three more times so that you have four of those for the chain count of 10. So let's do one more. So make a slip knot. Remember to leave a nice size tail. Then you're going to loosely chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Then you're gonna cut off enough to remember you need to make a knot. And then you're going to pull through, tighten, then make a knot. And again, try to make sure that you're not as close, close to the end there, just like this. Okay. And then you're going to cut off, not right at the knot, but just a little further down. Okay. Just like that. 
So I'm going to do two more of these and you do two more and then we'll meet back up in just a second. Okay, so we have four of those and this color changed because it's a variegated yarn. So now I'm going to pull out this yellow color and I'm going to do some more of the tentacles, but this time we're going to change the chain count. So I'm going to make a slip knot and now I'm going to chain 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Remember to keep that loose. Then you're going to remember to keep a long a bit cut off there. And you're gonna go through to tighten up, make a little knot, and then you're going to make another knot right here close to the end. Just like that. And then remember to cut off a little further down. Okay, so those are our longer ones. So let's just do that one more time. You're gonna need four of these as well. Make a slip knot. Make sure you leave enough dangling down because we're gonna use that. And then loosely chain 14. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Then you're going to cut off. Then you're going to pull through the loop there. Then you can tighten. Then you're going to make a knot. Okay, and so we need two more of those. So I'm gonna make two more and then we'll meet back up in just a second. Okay, so we have all of our tentacles done. We've got four of each of these, the shorter ones and the longer ones. And I'm gonna show you how to put these on here, okay? So what we're looking at the bottom here, you can see these last stitches that we did. There's nine of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But what we're going to do is, is we're gonna work in eight of these. So I'm gonna start right here. So right here is where you see where we slip stitched. And I'm gonna go right into this next stitch and I'm going to pull in one of my long tentacles, okay? But I wanna work from the, from the inside going this way not going this way, okay? It's just gonna keep them more centered. So I'm gonna come from this way, I'm gonna pull this in, this piece right here, and then I'm just gonna leave it there, just like that, okay? Then I'm gonna pull in a shorter one into the next one, and I'm gonna pull it in as well, just like this. Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take these two pieces of yarn that I just pulled those in with, and I'm going to tie a knot. I'm gonna pull it pretty tight once, and then I'm going to do it again, just to secure it really well, and twice. Just make sure it's really tight. You can do it three times if you feel like you need to. Just wanna make sure they don't come undone. And then you can just put those to the side, because we're gonna do something with these ends here in a little bit, okay? Then you're going to move to your next stitch right here and you're going to pull in another long tentacle there and then you're going to take one of your shorter ones and go into the next stitch and pull that in and then you're going to tie a knot again. So you're going to Take those two strands and you're going to once, twice, and I just go ahead and do it three times just to make sure it doesn't come undone. And then you keep going and you just keep doing the same thing. So I'll go into my next stitch. I'm going to pull in another long one. 
And then I'm going to grab a short one. Just like that. And then I'm going to tie again. One, two, and three. Just like that. And then we've got our last two, okay? So we're gonna go into our next available stitch and I'm gonna pull in this long one again. And then I'm gonna go into my next stitch here and I'm going to pull in the short one. Okay. Then I'm going to tie a knot again. One, two, and three. Okay. So we've got all of these now hanging down. And we've also got all these strands, but we're gonna do something with all those, okay? So I'm going to keep this piece here that's um, attached to the actual head part, and you will be able to tell the difference in it because we did that little slip knot and then pulled it through there. Um, so we're gonna hold that to the side, but we're gonna take all of the strands here that we have, all of these together, just pull them through, Try to make sure you don't get your little tentacles. Okay. So we've got all these and I'm just going to wrap them like this so they're easier to push through. And we're just going to stuff those right back into the middle of the head and this will help to stuff it. And so you don't need to use any stuffing at all. And so isn't that so neat? So I've pressed that inside of there. And now we're going to use this little piece right here to just do a little bit of sewing. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to close this hole up. And the way I'm gonna do it is by going through each one of these stitches. So if you can see here, right here, you've got this stitch right here, this stitch right here, this stitch right here. These were all where we worked through our um, chains there for our tentacles. So we're gonna go into our next stitch and just pull through. And through the next one and just pull through like this. And then through the next one, just like this. So you're just pulling the yarn through, going in each stitch along. And you should be going through nine. And then here's our last one. And then what you're going to do is, is you're going to pull very tight. And when you do that, it's gonna close up this hole, hopefully. <laughs> so we're just gonna pull, okay? Pull, pull, pull. And as you can see, our hole is getting shorter, okay? And I'm going to pull a little bit more. All right. And so we've closed up the hole in the middle there. And so what I'm going to do just to keep it more secure is I'm going to work this piece back and forth through the head. And this, you see this a lot in amigurami. It's a way of hiding our stitches so that they never come undone. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the other side of this just to give another extra pull, pull again, and then I'm going to go right through up in the middle of my head here. And then I'm going to go right through the same space and go out another side. And then again, go through the same space and go out through the other side. And going through the same space is going to ensure that you can't see that as you're working it in. And now you're going to pull tight and you're going to cut and it's going to go right back into the head. And look at that. Isn't that so cute? Now you could just leave it like this 
okay, where you don't need to put anything on it. But what I did for these was, is I put a little um, edging around the end here just to give it a little more pizzazz, make it look a little bit more jellyfish-like. But you could definitely leave it like that as well. It's all up to you. But I am going to show you how to do that real quick, okay? So what you're going to do is I'm going to take my other, the yellow yarn that I used for my other tentacles here. And I'm going to turn this over to the back. And you're going to see here where we did that, where we did the back loop. You're going to see this front loop coming forward, okay? So you can see it all the way around here. And you can see it over here, and you can see that here it goes higher. It's up here higher than it is over here. So you're gonna work your hook right into there, and you're going to pull in this color, okay? Leave a little bit of yarn because you are gonna have to work that in. Then you're going to chain one, okay? Then you're gonna go back into the same spot and do a single crochet. And then you're going to chain two, and then you're going to go into this stitch right down here. And we're still working in these same front loops, but this one is lower, okay? So you're gonna go right into there, and you're gonna work a single crochet, and then you're gonna chain two. And into the next stitch, a single crochet, and then chain two. And into our next front loop, single crochet, and chain two. So you see we're working through all these front loops here. Single crochet, chain two. So we're just gonna do that all the way around. When you get to the eye part, because my eyes are big, it's a little bit harder to work into, but you can still get in there pretty good. So just keep doing that and I will meet you back up when we get to the end and I'll show you how to finish it off, okay? Okay, so I'm in the back now and I've worked my last one here, my last chain two. So now what I need to do is I need to find that first single crochet I did. So not the chain one, but the first single crochet and I'm gonna go right into there and I'm going to work a slip stitch, okay? And then what I can do is I can leave a little bit of room here and cut off and work through just like that, okay? And so now that's what that looks like. It gives it a little bit of a, a lip going around and um, just gives it some more jellyfish look here, okay? So now I'm gonna show you what to do with these last two little pieces that we have. This is really easy. And after we're done with this, we're all done with our little jellyfish, but I wanna show you how to do every little thing, especially since this is a beginner video. So we're gonna take our last two strands here where we started and where we ended our little um, going through our front loops here. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right back through the head of the jellyfish, just like I showed you before, going in and out of the same place, okay? And that came off, so I'm gonna put it right back on my darning needle. And I'm gonna do that one more time, going into the same place and going out the other side, just like that. Then I'm going to pull tight and I'm gonna cut off and that should go right back into the head. And then we're gonna do the same thing with this last little piece that we have. Okay, so this time, because this is on the end here of my work, I'm going to go through there once and through here, and then again back through the head. And I really like to use the rule of three for this, just like you do for a blanket when you're working in ends, going in and out of the same place there. Pull tight and cut off. Now I didn't pull really tight there. I wanted to do this on purpose because I wanted to show you this. When you're doing emigrami, this happens 
quite often. I didn't pull tight enough and so you can still see that yellow pressing through. So all you wanna do is take your darning needle and just poke it down and you see it goes right back through there, okay? Also, if you have any from going in and out of the top of this head here, you could have some indents that might look like that and I just did it with my finger because I didn't have any, but that happens. And so all you do is you take your darning needle, you go in and you pull it out and you see it comes right back out just like that. Okay, so those are some little tricks for amigurami. But this is what it looks like finished and I just love these. I am in love with these little jellyfish. They're so cute. Um, these colors turned out really neat as well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, my cats have run off with some of these here. <laughs> but this one is my littlest one and that's because I used I did a little bit smaller for the tentacles, but I really think it looks better with the longer ones. But those are ways that you can make this your own, okay? So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you again soon. If you need any help or anything, don't hesitate to ask. You can find me in the comments section below. I try to answer every question that I see. Um, you can also find me on my Gmail, which is in the description box, my TikTok, my Instagram, my Facebook, everything's down below. You can find me everywhere. So happy crocheting and happy new year, guys. Bye-bye.